Think of this as a school library turned fashion house. These fashionistas are hard at work with all of the reading and math skills they need to make stylish new clothes for their Barbie dolls. Looking good, ladies, but they didn't become fashion experts overnight. We could learn how to make them, and, and it was actually in the back. They showed us how to make different dresses and skirts. We were reading this passage about fashion in the 1900s. These girls are learning the ins and outs of fashion, thanks to the Spring Academy at West Jacksonville Elementary. The three-day academy provides an opportunity for students to learn and have fun over spring break. How did the school pull it off? By combining reading, math, and science with fun enrichment activities. With having them here with us instead of at home, we can keep their minds active, we can keep them learning, um, we're exposing them to new topics, new ideas, new ways of thinking. Speaking of new ways of thinking, you know, 31. 31. math skills are essential for this group of students. They made airplanes out of paper and straws, and they're measuring, then documenting just how far they can fly. Look at them go. The first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how we are going to convert our centimeters into meters. Math coach Jonathan Hinkie says teaching students through hands-on activities has its benefits. Our whole approach to uh, Spring Academy is to provide them extra chances to work on concepts and skills that they, they need to know. So we're, we're kind of doing FCAT prep, but in a way it's really focus more on making sure that they have a chance to engage in hands-on activities and um, have experiences that they might not necessarily have time for during the day. Um, and so it's a chance to work on standards and things they need to know, but in kind of a different way than they're used to. This is the second year West Jacksonville has hosted the Spring Academy, and they don't do it alone. Business partners, state and district coaches, as well as professors and residents from the University of North Florida are all part of the equation. Here, UNF professor Dr. Cheek teaches students how to take a closer look at rocks and minerals. The first thing we're going to investigate is the color that we see when we look at the mineral. If you look at this mineral, what color is it? What color do you see, Jonah? Tan. Kind of tan. And as if this academy couldn't get any more hands on. Yeah, let's go, right here. Students got their hands on some basketballs and hit the courts for a unique lesson on the history of basketball and how the game got its origins. I'd say these students are scoring big time, not just in this game, but in their education. We try to bring in a lot of those creative, hands-on, enrichment type activities that we don't always have time for during the regular school day and use that as a hook to get our kids in. I think for our parents, that they are excited to know their kids, they're, they're safe, they're in a structured environment, they're being productive. Um, whereas at home they would just be, you know, playing a lot of loose, a lot of free time. But it, with here, our, our parents know how important it is for their children to keep learning um, and if they're behind to catch up. 